Hi everybody, Mark with Flicking Feathers again today and I'm doing a wee video to show you how to make mud, right? Your own uh, leader sinking or degreaser. Now there are several reasons that you should make your own. First of all it's far superior, right? You get the right consistency that you want. Um, there's no skimping and you know you're not going to skimp on your detergent when you're making your own. So it works better. Um, you know it's fresh, you know, you, you know you're know you mixing up a new batch, it's very quick and easy, and it's much cheaper, right? So just to give you an idea, here's some Loon Snake River Mud, right? I bought this last week because I was making the video. 920 yen plus tax I paid, so it's just over a thousand yen, which is about 10 US dollars, right, or seven pounds if you're in the UK. I mean, that's quite expensive for mud, but still, I bought it, I don't know, two years ago maybe, I bought this bag of Fuller's Earth powder, and it cost me, I think about 700 yen, right? A bottle of glycerin, probably about 700 yen as well, and you've got the washing up liquid at home anyway. All you need is a wee something to mix it in, a, a round container's better, and then I use I buy these film canisters. It's just like an old film container. Again, very, very cheap. One of these will do me at least a year. Um it's airtight. I mean I, I usually replace it every year anyway. Um and I mix up two or three two or three tubs, put one in every bag so that you never forget it. Dead easy. Now, the mixing process is very simple. Right, we'll get my fillers off. And I don't measure the quantities, I like to kind of just judge the consistency as I mix it because it depends on the overall humidity and different detergents or different amounts of water in them and things. Now, I'll put Amazon links in the description for you, so you can find all the stuff you need quite easily. I'd appreciate it if you decide to do it, you buy it there, That's that would help me out a bit. So I've got two big heap teaspoons of my Fuller's Earth powder. That's probably enough for this canister. Now, I'm going to put in a good squirt of detergent and just mix it up get some more in and obviously if you make it too wet you can add a wee bit of extra fillers of powder just to tighten things up but we're starting to get there I want like a smooth paste. It's just still a wee bit thick, still a wee bit dry. So come in with some more. Make sure I got all the dry powder into the mix. And I'm looking for, I don't know, putty or clay, you know. And this is starting to look quite good. Now some people like to add all sorts of stuff, I don't bother. Um, the only thing other than the Fuller's Earth detergent and glycerine that I ever add is sometimes I add a bit of water just um, especially if I'm mixing it in the winter here because it's very dry but again it depends on your way you're mixing it what type of detergent you're using I don't think it matters as far as how well it works which detergent you use but it will make a difference 
as far as how much you need to add. Right, I'm getting there now, that's quite good. Now just to stop it drying out, a wee bit of glycerine. You, you don't need anything like as much glycerine as um, you did washing up liquid. I like mine like this. This is this is really good. See, it's like quite a wet paste. It's not too slimy, but if you touch it, it's quite stick. Like it'll stick to your fingers, and that's what I want because I want it to stick to the leader. Right, I want it to grip the leader when I rub it on. Um, so it does a good job of degreasing it. And the wee grains are. The dust of the, the wet powder of the fuller's earth will take some of the shine away and it'll really help it to cut through the surface film. And when you're happy, it's just a case of getting your tub. Just fill that up. Scraped in. You don't need to worry too much about the how clean the sides are or anything because you're going to you can wash it away very easily. I've got a wee air po pocket stopping me close that there. And there we go. Like I say, just take that excess away. Get a rinse. There you go. So that five minutes, and I've got a tub. That's. I mean, I, I fish a lot, right? I mean, at least a hundred days a year. I, I, I aim for. I usually make make it more like 130, 140. That would last me the guts of the year if I only had one tub. Five minutes, and it probably costs. I mean, it's pennies, right? But most importantly. That consistency, right? It's sort of like a sticky kind of putty. You rub that in your leader, it takes all the grease away, it takes the shine away, it makes the tippet sink perfectly. It's it's great stuff. It's much better than the commercial stuff. The commercial stuff, you don't know how long it's been in the shop. I mean, that, that stuff I bought last week, it's a hard cake. Right, don't know how long it was in the, sh in the shop, but it's no use, it's rubbish. So, there you go. Hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Hey, thanks guys, bye.